Hello and welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. We have access to the next palace, but before we go there, we have the TV. Crimes don't happen inside a conference room. They're happening out there in the real world, understand? Um, why are you telling me this? Oh. This detective knows what's going on. Drawing on your own first-hand experience is important. Oh, alright then. You got anything new to say? Hmm? You still carrying the cat around in your bag? I'm surprised you don't get sh stiff at shoulders. Oh, so no. We know we can't leave because we already checked it. So what are we doing today? We don't have a new book. Uh, wait, have we checked it? Yes. So, if we don't have a book, then what we should do is we should either do coffee or kindness because apparently Sojiro um, shouldn't be locked for his level four. Although actually, I just had a thought, we might still have a DVD. If we don't, we should go to the DVD shop next time we get a chance. Oh. I did rent some. Oh, we've already finished it. Aw. Wait, you could watch it again? What, just for fun? Uh, nah, let's not. Uh, let's brew some coffee. Hey! Yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee. Make sure you close up. See you later. <sighs> yes! Alright. Fantastic. We get two LeBlanc coffees, and we get a little bit of charm. Oh, but this doesn't actually improve his opinion of us. I just realized something. Well then. Because he doesn't come back in. Oh, I should be cleaning. I should 100% be cleaning. Yeah. A motorcycle-shaped persona, huh? You know, I can turn into a car too, so it's like... I feel a sense of familiarity? It sounds like you feel a sense of jealousy from someone else being able to do what you can. Hmm. Maybe you're a persona. Or something close to a persona. Uh, no. I'm supposed to be human. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. I really am special after all. Huh? Carry? No. Take somewhere? What are you talking about? Something just crossed my mind. Okay. It's no use. I can't remember at all. <sighs> eh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike you guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from her. But man, you really do have something special. Hmm, I just got lucky. Looks like I better step up my game too. Feels like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper. Oh, this was a bond event? I thought this was just some friendly banter. We got kitty talk. If negotiation with an animal type shadow fails, you can try again. All right. Cool. I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos too. I'm sure Makoto's brain can... Hello? Ugh. We got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Could there be some reason for it? Nah, that can't be. It's his dashing good looks, obviously. And that's the reason why everyone's attracted to him. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. <laughs> I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway... Um... I wanted to apologize. I'm... Really sorry for everything. What do you mean? You know, how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki-san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt, 
so I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm... very sorry. Hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case, wanna call it even? Even? <laughs> You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. That is true. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. When you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. Hey, can I call you on? Everyone else does. Um, yeah. I... I'm going to do the same. M M Makoto. Ah, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> How about we get something to eat before we go home for the night? It's only lunchtime. You've got to go to your afternoon classes. Oh, I know a place. There's a crepe shop at Central Street that totally stuffs their crepes. Do you want to split one? Mmm, let's each get a whole one and then we can go half and half on those. Okay. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? Oh, okay, so they're not, they're not going now. That makes sense. It's very important that they don't skip their afternoon classes. Oh, it's an actual class? I'm in. I realize this is a mite late, but how shall I refer to you, Nijima-san? I believe some courtesy should be shown to those who are our senior. Oh yeah, should we call you... Nijima-san, or, like, Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal, just treat me the same way you would, you would anyone else. We're honored. Ain't that too formal? I already just call her by name. Yeah, already. As of, what, ten minutes ago? For real? Did something happen? That's a secret between us girls. Damn it, that sounds like fun. All of you may call me by my first name. No need to hesitate. Very well. I shall do just that. Hey, are you listening? Yo, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? I feel a murderous intent. Oh, oh we dodged it. Whoa, that was an epic dodge. I can't believe he just dodged Yushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> well, whatever, moving on. Hey! Hey, we got charm for that. Two points of charm for dodging the uh, chop. Charm is, I think, the closest to level four now. All right, then. Oh, I wanted a question. That's fine. Okay. Our next target is a criminal, one that even the police can't handle. We'll take care of them ourselves and leave this world speechless. Okay, steal your target's heart by the deadline. Sure. Mission start. Ooh, I didn't even notice it was on the blackboard before. Hey, shouldn't you tell the others about that target mementos? Really? Not really the time? How's your health? I'm all prepped and ready for your clinical trial. If you come now, you won't have to wait. 
I don't want to go see her. Um, also, apologies for the cut in the video there. Uh, hopefully, I remember to do it. Small uh, sneezing thing that needed to be sorted out. So, I've been told to keep drawing the logo, so let's keep drawing the logo. It's the logo, thought they were fake. Okay. That's exactly the same as before. That's fine, I guess it'll change at some point. Hello. Hey, have you seen the Phantom Thieves website? You can actually request them to target someone. Something like that sounds like it could lead to a lot of trouble. Akechi could mention that too. I guess it does sound like they're pretty dangerous after all. There was a poll or something about the Phantom Thieves, and not too many people supported them. Okay. Ooh, new deals. It's almost summer! Talk about the Phantom Thieves was non-stop throughout spring. Will that go on through summer? The Phantom Thieves are neat and all, but summer calls for soothing soba. Don't underestimate its flavor just because you can buy it in convenience stores. It's tough to tell if they're hot or cold. These noodles aren't chill, but they're soothing. Alright, so convenience stores have the summer soba. It's interesting. This is the catchy bandwagon thing. Okay, is that it? Or are there more things for the summer? Looks like that is it. Okay, now we have two options here as I see it. We can either go into the palace today or we can do a confidant. We obviously want to do the palaces before a certain point, but let's just have a look and see where our confidants are. So we have an up with Maruki. Now the reason I wanted to check that is I think it might be worth spending time with him specifically. Um, him, Akechi, and Kasumi are ones we need to get done by November. So I think it might be worth prioritizing them over going into the palace. Which, you know, may or may not be a mistake, but that's what a mistake I'm going to have. However, before we do that, I'm going to go into Central Street, and I'm going to go pick ourselves up a few new things. Oh, first of all, I uh, got the DVD, take it back. You got new DVDs in? Wonderful, what DVDs have you got? What would you like? So you got Not So Hot Bet, Not So Hot Betsy, ICU, uh, Jailbreak, and The Running Dead. So do we want Proficiency, Guts, uh, Kindness, or uh, Charm? Hmm, I think we want Guts. We'll take one The Running Dead. What happened to the music there? It all just kind of stopped. It's kind of weird. Go through here. Welcome. Uh, we've got all the books. Wonderful. <gasps> I just realized something. We'll go there in a second. Hello. Mm. Bananas, strawberries, brownies. There are so many toppings to choose from. How about some pudding a la mode? I'll give you my tip on the best way to enjoy it. Huh? Oh, Alpax, did you come here to eat some crepes too? Really, you guys sure love going to places like this. I'll be counting on you then. I'll be spending time with Makoto today, so just let us know if we're meeting up. We'll head over as soon as we finish eating our crabs. Alright then. That's kind of cool that they actually went somewhere when it said, like, we're gonna go here next, and then they did it. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't always get that. You sh sometimes it's just like, no, there's no actual effect, it's just some background. There's still no actual effect, but, you know. It, it's, it's more filled in background. Does the vibe in Shibuya feel different to you lately? The girls are more guarded than usual. Patience is a virtue at a time like this. Don't try to be as cool as a catchy. Go for more casual. More casual. Wait, how would I do that? Uh, you know, take her out to a cafe or something instead of a bar. Oh, okay. Anyway. I don't know why I went, went back there. Uh, I was just like, at the corner of my eye, saw something and I was like, Ooh, what's going on here? Not too exciting. Hello. Oh man, I'm hyped about the new model coming out in July. Ah, you hear about it. It's called the Tarantula. People made a big deal about it, but the rapid fire mechanism was too complex for a model version. Until now, they're finally making one. I've waited for this for so long. It's been so long, I almost tried making it myself, but no, I don't have the skills for that. I can't wait to have my own tra uh, tarantula. Man, being patient is rough. Sup. 
Yeah, I just want to buy some things. Some stuff. Do you okay. have anything to sell? Nope. Okay. Let's see what we got. Right. So, That's first good. of all, do we have any... We do have upgrades. Okay, that's interesting. Ooh, and they're actual upgrades. Now, I really like a theme right now. Oh, wait, no, sorry. It's not a theme I like. It's the uh, gun right, I like. One? So, this basically allows us to do a similar thing with our basic weapon. Or we could upgrade to the next level and make our all-in attacks better. Okay. Interesting. Sounds good. Ryuji, you got anything amazing? These are actually big ups for Ryuji. Like this, this strength plus three, I think we take it. That's a straight buy. Equip it, and then sell the old one. Cool. All right, which Morgana? One? Probably not gonna use Morgana. She can get a Talwar, or she can get a low sleep. Hmm. I'm probably not gonna use her. Sorry, use him. I said her twice, I do apologize. It's been a while. That's good. On. Uh, Burn Whip and Warrior Whip. So she already has one. I mean, a while since we used Morgana in our party, right, so it became one? relevant. Uh, so strength or just a thing? I think we'll take the strength sword again. That one, you better not yeah, use it's a straight buy. Drink. And then we'll sell. Uh, Makoto! So she uses Knuckles. So we got Heavy Grip or Critical Rate Up Knuckles. Interesting. So is she she's maybe a critical one? What's she got equipped now? Heavy grip. So basically what we could get... Wait. Oh no, we could equip... Wait, what am I comparing it to? Sorry, what does she have equipped? Okay. <laughs> I'm going crazy. She has All brass right, knuckles one? equipped. Which I think are... Do the same damage as this, but have no effect. Doesn't seem right. Uh, come again. Right. Uh, let's have a look here. Makoto. So, yeah, no effect. No effect. Cool. Hello. Uh, I'd like to make a purchase. I would like to buy right. a melee weapon. Sounds Thank good. you. Uh, so, I think for her, critical rate, maybe? Yeah, we could try that. This, I don't know if she actually has that many physical stuff, but that. we'll probably get an upgrade soon for her, I imagine. We'll sell the old stuff. It's just because it's not that the stuff we're buying from the shop isn't that much better than what she started with, so okay. I assume that we'll get an upgrade. All right. So we're currently one? using the Riot Police. This one, even though it does more damage, I don't think this is worth it. I think the Riot Police is really good. Sounds good. Fireworks. That 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 is a straight upgrade. Uh, I think we'll I buy it. Like it. And then we'll equip it, and then that's it because you don't sell All right. them. Which one? Comet three. I don't think we need to buy that because we're not gonna. Give good. Morgana a uh, shot on the team. Not for this one, anyway. Blitz MG. That's, That's good. Yeah. I don't know okay. who we're going to actually have on our team, actually. I was just thinking there. I think All Yusuke right, is between Ryuji and An. I don't know which one I'm leaning towards yet. For being on our team. Hmm, At least for just now. Use it to pull a prank. Might be An, just because That's of good. how much time she's spending with Makoto. On in Peacemaker. That's what you're choosing to break it. Wait, was again. that not the first item? I think that's the first uh, one you got for the person who used that weapon uh, in. Um, what's it called? In 4 as well. That's the first upgrade you got. Hmm. Just remember buying it before. Alright. Uh, and then right, Koto. What have we got here? So none of these are like that much better. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it be. Oh, wait, what new uh, accessories have you got? I keep going in and out of this menu mm. system. Accessories. Okay. Uh, so you got Dizzy Mask, Mysterious Mask, Forgetful Mask, Drowsy Mask, and Clown Mask. What's this? Rage Boost? Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it makes your... Uh, uh, when you get raged, instead of giving you resistance to it, just makes it better? I don't know. Anyway. Makoto. Protector. Yeah, we can give you the Edge one for just now. That seems okay. Uh, accessory. Currently, you got black tights as your accessory. I assume that yet yeah, does absolutely nothing. That's about right. Um, so apparently, this is pretty good. Like, it's actually amazing because it um, also nullifies your weak. So not only does it allow you to do barriers, but it nullifies the weakness that you have. So we might go for that one. A metal rider is fine for just now. Okay. Uh, obviously, we're using Makoto for this dungeon. It just makes sense. Um, let's have a look at... So I'm just 
I think I might take out Ryuji and replace with Yusuke. Yeah, we don't tend to use Ryuji that much, so... How do I... Yeah, party, unparty, there we go. Don't, uh, like... Ryuji we only pretty much use when everyone else has died because they're too low health. That, that's, that's his use condition, which isn't necessarily brilliant. Uh, I'm just gonna double check her here, just her stuff. So, um, she does have one melee attack, okay. Uh, and I just want to see, like, if I compare her to Yusuke. Yeah, so her strength is much lower, so that critical strike, I'm not sure is going to be that worth it. Because we're not going to use that type of attack that much, although her magic and strength are equal, so we might end up using some of it. But yeah, just looking at, like, the other levels we've got around here. She, like, is she a comparable level? She's two levels below, but yeah. Okay. She's definitely not a sink, like... She might be somebody who will, um, maybe her weapons are good, actually. I maybe missed that. Are her weapons better than everyone else's? Maybe that's her thing. Try to figure out why you use her. Like, what's her use case? So, 102 and 135. Let's just compare it to use case. 108 and 125. Okay, so those do slightly more. So, maybe she's meant to be a weapons-based character. Just my thought. Although I didn't check ammo for the uh, uh, ranged weapon, so it might not actually work out that way. Anyway, uh, where are we going next? Maybe we're going to the lottery, because it might be uh, available. Hmm. Nope, it's available tomorrow, of course. Ooh, some chatter chatters. Nice. I hear that High School Detective Show is getting good ratings. We gotta step it up. Let's stop covering the Mafia, it's getting dangerous. The higher-ups don't want us covering whatever we want. I bet the director's gonna scold us. Don't get cold feet now. As long as we keep increasing our ratings, he won't say a thing. Mm. Okay. Mm. Hello. The rainy season shrouds the sun, weakening my power. Ugh. However, the sun god will not be deterred by such things. I will continue to protect Shibuya. Those frightened by the criminal organization need only accept the power of the Sun God. Whoa, I can see it. Healing is taking place thanks to the Sun God's blessings. Hmm? Hello. Bad man in Shibuya. Black male and people can't trust anyone in this world of ours. That's why I poured my heart and soul into this song. To help restore our hope, I give you Lullaby of Ruin. Inside a ball of dirty bills, a tempter dances in the dark, ready for a crazy party, baby. A night of greed, covered in money, 10% interest every 10 days. Be sure to spend it wisely. Okay, not my favorite one of your songs, but that's okay. Thank you, thank you so much. How was the live performance? Um, need more practice. Put in more practice, watch me become a rock star. All right, cool. Uh, now, this isn't what I was excited about. What I was excited about is I realized we can go to Shinjuku, the red light district, all by ourselves. Uh, ooh, we got a ton of people here. Hello, what's going on with you two, fine gentlemen? I've been picking up less and less fares. You know any way I could make some more money? Well, I hear those thugs in Shibuya make a ton of money, and they party there like crazy. Yeah, but Shibuya's getting shady. It's all because of some new crime organization or something. Maybe their money's good, but I don't want to get caught up in any trouble with those guys. Okay. Oh, and there's a velvet room here. Hello. Whoa, now you are one handsome guy. You got such nice eyes behind those stylish glasses. Say, you ever think about working at a host club? Most like you could make a lot of money. Hmm. Come on, you can't even just try it for one day, like a trial run. See if you really like it. It's an idiot kid ignoring me like I'm not even here or there. <laughs> right, um, so where are we going? Shop? A shop. Hello. Welcome, we've got a wide range of stuff here from Cute trinkets to beautiful wares. What do you want? Uh, none of that. See ya. 
Um, so we should now be able to check everything in here. So these vending machines, oh. I assume, are the exact same as every other vending machine. Yes, they are. Cool. Uh, the bookshop. Oh, we'll just have a quick look, you know. Welcome. Whoa, you look kind of young. I can't send you, sell you any books with mature content, okay? Hey. So, Flowerpedia. Definitely buy that. Batting Science. Okay, so these help you with other tasks. Fair enough. ABCs of Crafting. We'll have that. Thank you. Yep. Come again. Let's come here again later. Maybe we'll find a book that will pique your interest. I already found many. I just wasn't allowed to buy them. Right. A vending machine, which will be the same as every other vending machine. Hello. Did you hear about Madarame and the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? Phantom Thieves, huh? They must be pretty prim and proper if they're handing out calling cards. They say they haven't found any evidence about them yet. I wonder what'll happen. The internet is treating them like they're Robin Hood. I doubt the police can ignore this for long. Okay. Have a little look in here. You can now quick travel to Crossroads. Does hmm. something you need to do at this Crossroads place? It looks like it's closed now. Oh, maybe it opens in the evening. But we can fast travel here now, which is cool. Uh, oh, we got a flower shop, I think, in here? Oh, it's a ramen shop. Wait, is this... Hmm. If you're in the mood for ramen, go to Ojikubo. It's not like you get to eat ramen every day, so you don't want uh, some that's exceptional. So, don't you want some that's exceptionally good? Okay. Oh, it's the flower shop shop. Oh. Uh, look, ugh, look at their business hours. From evening till late at night. Just what I'd expect in Shinjuku. Okay, so that's the convenience store. Uh, oh, what is up with that? That is terrifying. Have you heard the scary stories going around lately? What, about your uh, friend there? That's right, there's something you absolutely must do in case something ever happens to you. Wipe your hard drive before anyone finds out what's really in there. I present Data Bye Bye Insurance. Get it now at a special price during this promotion. Alright then, I'm um, leaving them alone. Right, so we have the theater over here. What's it showing? You now quick travel, okay. Oh. Wow, this theater is humongous. I wonder what they're showing. Wow. Right now, it looks like we're just in time to see Like a Dragon. The money goes missing, the boss is killed, and blood runs through the streets of Tokyo. Hmm. This will improve our guts. Wow. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a ticket. What's Are you crazy? I'm not made of money. We might come back later. But, uh, not right now. Just wanna see... Was that good another... Oh, the other street's all the way down here. Oh, it's not a real street. It's just a way into the acupuncture clinic. Where did we meet the, uh... It must have been down to the left here. Yeah, this must be where the fortune teller was, but I guess they're not around right now. Okay, cool. Well, we've explored Shinjuku. I kind of get the feeling it's more exciting at night. Um, and then... Let's see. Last place we want to go is here to the clinic in order to buy some new, uh... Well, stuff. Hello. <sighs> yep. Somebody came to you, but you're not an optician. That's fair enough, but we I want to buy some stuff. Room. Let's see what we got. Want to buy some Revivadrin? Okay, which one? Uh... So it restores 100% HP, that's useful. That a very unique symptom. Remove Kids stat buffs effective. for foes. Remove stat debuffs for allies. I'm really looking for your revive, if that's alright. Um, there we go, revive adrin. I think I might buy like 20 of these. It's a huge amount, but I think we're gonna buy it. There you go. Yeah, we got anything else that seems useful? Like an AoE heal would be quite nice that isn't used in a safe space. Uh, this one I think. That should work. Let's buy ten of those as well. Thanks. Nice. And then like. You want that one? Maybe three of those. Here you go. Uh, we don't need the debuff stuff. I think the rest of that's fine. Take care. Sure. Right, uh, now we're going to head back over to school where we are going to speak to our favorite um, person we haven't spoken to in a while. Uh, our favorite, what's his word? Counselor. No, we're not. We're actually going to go back to Shibuya, back to the uh, 
velvet room where we were before, and we're going to get a cantaloupe persona. Because I realized that we actually need one of those. Let's go in. In here, and... Hello. <laughs> uh, so, we're going to create a new persona. Fusion, fused by result. Let's just see if we have any. We do not have any available, so we're just going to have to go and buy one. In here, and uh, view summon. Buy Arcana, Counselor. I'll have one of those, please. I'll pay you your fee. Right, there we go. We actually only have 9,000 left in the money that I said that I'm allowed to spend. So, we're running low on money. I know that we have... Um, a hundred thousand, but yeah, we are still running low. Right, uh, heading back to this one. We can head to the practice building, and then spend our time with our favorite counselor. Oh. Hello. Please tell me we have an upgrade. Hey there. Oh, it's you. What a scorcher, it's right? It's gotten so hot lately. It really makes me reconsider lab coat, to be honest. Do you have any time today? Actually, I've been planning a little, uh, well, I should just ask. Are you free today? I feel I can become closer thanks to the persona. I feel like my bond will grow stronger soon. Maybe a break wouldn't be so bad. Are you going to help Maruki with his research? Let's help him out. Thank you so much. Ah, great. Well, come on in. Make yourself at home. Now... Well, today's just going to be another back and forth, as usual. Or will it? Today's your lucky day. Please take a look at what's on this table. <gasps> we got snacks! I've been making you listen to all this tough stuff about traumas, pain, and grief lately, so... I found these cookies in an underground mall. Now we can have a little break. They're kind of fancy cookies, too. I thought I'd get a surprise for you, since you've been kind enough to indulge me all this time. Go ahead, enjoy! Um, this looks great! Go on, don't be shy, I've got enough for seconds, too. Oh, yes. Oh, I know. As long as we're talking about cookies, they actually reminded me about this psychological experiment. The scientists prepared two containers and put the same kind of cookies in both of them. In one container, they put only one cookie, but the, other, but the other was filled with cookies. Ten of them. So then they had their subjects try cookies from each container and asked how their tastes compared. Which container's cookies were marked as tasting better? Any guesses? It has to be the one cookie container. It's got to be like a scarcity thing. It's like, if there's ten of them, it's, it's common as muck. It's got the rarity factor. Right. Correct. Easy to guess, huh? There's something called the Law of Scarcity. It's about what you'd imagine from the name. People are drawn to things that are more scarce. You can see this law in action just by observing how excited people get over limited edition merchandise. Hmm. You know, you're right. Ha ha ha, I know, right? Don't you think it's really fascinating? In becoming aware of scarcity, we trigger our own desires and cause a change in our cognition. Interesting phrasing, Maruki. Every time he does a phrasing like that, I just kind of go, Do you know something you shouldn't? Not only that, the effect spreads to our senses and creates a subjective, observable difference in our reality. Basically, your perceptions can be changed by your cognition or preconceptions. Uh, <laughs> it's all below the conscious level, but it's really incredible. Incidentally, now that you've heard that story, how do you feel about that idea? That your unconscious desires may have changed the taste of the cookie? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. But what's also interesting is that it does kind of fit in with a question I was asking, I think it was last episode, where I was saying, if you change something in the cognitive world, would it change something in the real world? What Maruki has just told us is the answer is yes. 
because your unconscious desires can change your real, like can have a physical effect in the real world. Well, a physical effect through taste. So that's interesting. You know what? We'll say it's a little scary. Because we know a little bit more about that there could be other things that could do this. I guess I can understand that perspective, sure. It probably sounds like an exaggeration, but something about that seems so beautiful to me. Maybe the human heart can falter or be unreliable sometimes. But if this experiment proves anything, is that even a simple preconception can be enough to bring someone more joy. For example... Take that story I just told you. What if you'd eaten that one cookie and had had the best cookie of your life? Say I never revealed the trick behind it. That cookie would have remained more delicious than usual. It would have been a subjective truth of your reality. Nah, no, 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 no. Maruki, you are giving us the exact same situation that Madarame presented all of the people he gave fraudulent paintings to. Madarame was saying, it's not a problem that he's giving out fraudulent paintings because um, everybody believed it was real. Everybody was getting the same effect as if the painting had been real. They're all getting the benefits to themselves and they're all happy in what they got. This is what Maruki's saying to us here. He's saying, in fact, this is almost, this must have been planned to be right after Madarame's thing when he did it, because he's effectively saying the exact same thing. He's saying, hey, I'm giving you a cookie. You think this cookie is one of a kind. There's no other cookie like it. However, there was 10 other, in the, 10 other cookies in the other container. But I'm not going to tell you because it made you happy. Interesting. Hmm. Not the truth exactly. Well, point well taken. Well, point taken. I can see why you'd say that. Basically, what I wanted to say was... If this idea of preconception could be studied further and actually applied to treating people, I feel like it could help a lot of people, maybe even more than I could help through counselling. Then again, it relies so heavily on perspective, some people might call it a lie or see it as running from problems. Still, even if that's true, I still believe that method could save a lot of people. Sorry. Oh, yikes, I'm so sorry. We wound up getting into an academic conversation after all. I really need to watch myself whenever I'm talking to you. I somehow always, somehow I always end up going back to my research. I truly am grateful for everything you've done. Not just because I can get your opinion on these things either. It's more like, it's as if I'm talking to an old friend. <laughs> uh, but maybe that's too personal. After all, this is what this is all for the sake of our deal, right? So we say, anyway. I can sense a strong bond of friendship from Maruki. Okay, some interesting stuff there. Chance to restore Joker's SP when it's low. All right. That's useful. Now then, I'd better show you another way to mentally train yourself. What I'm going to teach you today is... More SP? All More right. SP. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? We got a donut well, worry. Ha ha ha. Make sure you get home before it gets too dark, okay? And now he's gonna phone us. Oh, this is Maruki. Sorry about earlier. It was supposed to be a chance for us to relax, but it ended up being another big academic discussion. It was thought-provoking. Really? I'm s wow, I'm so happy to hear that. I've always been like this. I get so hyper-focused on my research, I don't notice anything else. Back when I was a student, people kept warning me about that. Oops, there I go rambling again. Sorry, sorry. Alright, uh, see you again soon. And it's evening time. Rain, huh? 
I'm so sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Oh. Hmm. There has been no sign yet of Kanashiro acting on his threat. He probably just thinks his money's gonna just come rolling in. He does have the upper hand on us after all. If that picture got out, who knows what would end up happening to Alpax. Guess worst case scenario, uh, he'd be, he, I guess worst case scenario, he'd be expelled. He, oh, guess worst case scenario, he, be he, gets, it. that's a very odd sentence. I don't know how you're meant to say that. Guess worst case scenario, be he, get expelled. It, it's, it's like not proper English somewhere. Like, I feel like I'm missing a word. No. There is a more serious alternative. He's currently under probation, meaning... I'm so sorry, this whole situation is my fault. Come on, stop that! I mean, you're the one who's in the most trouble right now. My sister is a prosecutor. This will surely be a problem for her as well. What should I do? Kanashiro must surely be taking that aspect into account, too. We need to stop him. For sure! Even the police are having trouble with that bastard. We'll be heroes if we catch him. High risk, high reward. You're all so positive. Hmm. In a way, your recklessness is the only reason we are now able to pursue this change of heart. Totally, we're in deep shit. So we're going to do whatever we can to get out of it. I never thought of things in that way before. It is quite strange hearing from some hearing something so positive from Ryuji. Shut up! Alright, leader. You can decide when we meet up. When your position changes, your view of the world changes too. It's a shift in cognition. In any case, we're in big trouble if we can't change Kanashiro's heart. Let's do this. Okay. Ooh, do we have a thing? You got time right now? Come on, deepen! No. Next time, then. Right. Hello. Oh, we've already spoken to you. Okay. Now for our next story. An event in the si at an event in the city, several people started feeling nausea and were taken to the hospital. The health department suspects food poisoning and is carrying out an investigation. Now then. You should be careful too. Even phantom thieves will get dragged down by a stomach ache. That's another thing in the restaurant industry. Interesting. Well. Uh, it's raining, which I believe means that we can go to something in the underground mall. I think someone sells something here. From what we were told. Hmm. I don't know where it is, though. It might be in the walkway. Is it here? Well, we know convenience stores sell soba either way, so we should have a little check-in and see what we got going on. It's Drizzled Natto, right? Yeah, rainy day special. Nice. I remembered it. We got it. Perfect. Right, heading out here. Um, where are we going? Oh, you know where I want to go? First of all, I want to check. Don't have yours, don't have Sochiro as much as I'd like to. Uh, let's head to Shinjuku, the red light district. Of course we're going here. So we have her. Seeing who else we got around here. Don't have anybody else new. Maybe the bar is open? Let's have a quick chat, uh, check in the bar. Oh, honey. You're here again, boy. Don't blame me if you get eaten alive, okay? Thieves' Den's updated. That's just incredibly worrying. Hello. That's rough. What? Don't you know it's not polite to stare? That sort of thing isn't unusual around here. This sort of thing isn't unusual around here. Alright, so that's all you that's take in here. Care now. Don't wander too much in this area. Some weirdo might kidnap you and just gobble you down. Alright. I'll make sure to keep an eye out for you, as it sounds like you might be that person. Anyway, I'm gonna leave. I thought she was somebody important for a second there with the different pose, but nope. Welcome, haha, <laughs> here to buy uh, something for a special lady in your life. Thanks for dropping by. I'd like to buy some Mega Fertilizer. Thanks. Appreciate it. See you later. 
Right, uh, where's this fortune teller? I've completely lost her. She was around here somewhere, wasn't she? She down here? No. Not this way. Ooh, what's going on here? It's a bar. Wonder if you'll um, turn into that kind of adult someday. Hmm, no, I can't imagine you simply obeying the higher ups. Okay. Uh, fortune tellers, not long there. Hey, was it further along here? No. I must be going crazy. She was definitely in this area, right? Somewhere. Not down here. I must be going crazy, because I'm sure that we were here when we spoke to her. I'm almost like, is there another path that I didn't take somewhere? Maybe she's not here when it's raining. You know what, that's probably the right answer. I probably have come here and it's raining and then she's not going to actually be here. Okay, fair enough. Now, we can't go to our hideout, can we? I just want to check. If I go to Shibuya, we are not able to go to our hideout. Okay, that is correct. So what are we going to do with our time? Hmm. I guess we could just spend even more time in LeBlanc just trying to get Sojuro to like us. Hmm. That's pretty much the only thing I have going. Right now, I'm almost like we could have just spent one singular... You know what? As much as I hate it, I think I might just spend the time with Sojuro and then just get the next upgrade automatically. I think that actually sounds like a much better plan. I was just thinking, how many times have I spent doing this and this? You must have spent, what, six or seven uh, different events doing it? We could spend one speaking to Sojuro. Yeah, let's not fall into the sunk cost fallacy here. You got time right now? Uh, oh. But I, sh I do actually need to bring the correct Next persona. Alright, uh, back over here. Back to the velvet room. Let's go get him a persona. I forget which one he is. Which one is he? Sojuro. Um, he is the Hierophant. Okay. I'll go and grab one of those. Yep, I know. We're about to get kicked. And here we go. And we'll have a look for a hero font. Do you have bit? Hello. Uh, I would like to create a the new persona. The needs our guide. If you wish to perform an edge, let us begin the search. Do we have a hero font we haven't already got? Nope. In fact, we don't have any hero fonts at all. You change which your is mind, perfect. Justine. You have read here. Um, that was sarcasm. Uh, in here, do we have a hero font? We do not have a hero font. Apparently, it must have been like right at the top. This right, we'll get a bearer. Persona, there we go. This is your power. Perfect. We now have one thousand six hundred and nine from the amount right. that I'm allowed to spend it by my time, own inmate. twisted sense of the rules. Right, let's jump back over here and then to Cafe LeBlanc and then we will spend some time with Sojuro. Hello. You got time right now? You don't think it will deepen. Well, I'm gonna help him out. All right then. Put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sojuro's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. Maybe there's a way to make sure Sojuro has a good time. Oh, that's right. I have something Sojuro might like. Considering Sojuro, I feel like he may appreciate something useful to him. Uh, okay. Something useful to him. An, an ultra lar loud alarm clock, maybe? Um... Would you like this alarm clock I have? This is for me? Ugh, what do I do with this? Well, I guess it's the thought that counts. Hey, we got another two. It, it feels like I didn't really impress Sojuro that much with my gift for him. I feel like my bond with Sojuro will grow stronger soon. Thanks. Well, hey, thanks for helping me out. That's what gifts do, apparently. Okay. Ooh, some more random things. I don't have enough money to do what I want. 
Haven't there been a lot of pictures leaked lately? Want to me to get you a job? It's real easy. So many weirdos lately. Is it that psychotic breakdown thing? Been hard to meet my quota. I gotta find some suckers. Okay. And we're on to a Wednesday. Hey, did you hear? There's a famous fortune teller in Shinjuku. You're just taunting me now. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I read something about that online. The beautiful fortune teller or something. I hear she's pretty good. A lot of people say her predictions came true. Some say she can divine your very destiny. Maybe she can tell me who my soulmate will be. I think I'll pay her a visit. A fortune teller in Shinjuku, huh? Didn't we see her when we met with that journalist? Wow. She seems pretty popular. She said she'd be there at night. Should we pay her a visit too? Sure. Let's do that. What, what a unique idea that no one's had. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I've been thinking a lot about personas and palaces since yesterday. That floating bank really reflects Kanashiro's personality. He's flying around so no one can trace his steps. He doesn't trust anyone. I bet security's tight in there too. That's why we should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? Good idea. Great. I'll leave my schedule open after school so we should all get together. Well, looks like we got a new leader of the gang. I should have said no and then changed my mind halfway through to assert dominance here. But like, no, it was my idea all along. Makoto, you okay? Has Kanashiro threatened you or anything? He's been demanding money, but I choose to ignore those messages. Is that okay? Have any scary men shown up at your house? No. Kanashiro still has the photographs in his possession, remember? Perhaps that advantage is why he doesn't feel any urgency to act. So, do you think we're safe for now then? Uh, yep. You're wrong. Just like Yusuke said, those pictures are bad news for us. We will need to change Kanashiro's heart as soon as possible. Agreed, I will do everything I can to help. And now, it's after school. Let's go. And we said we'd meet at that. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't get chopped. I guess we're into the hideout. Okay. Eureka! Huh? I just had an idea. And a phenomenal one at that. Oh, I don't like it when you get that look on your face there, cat. Lady On will surely swoon for me if I. Sorry for the wait. So, what's up, Morgana? Hmm. Supposedly, you'll swoon. From what? Well... It's something I've been giving a lot of thought lately. Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good for us to work on our finishers. Our finishers? Yeah. I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Right? Right? So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet, and we can definitely pull it off if you play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our Lady On. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... And that should do the trick. Oh. Really? So, is that a no? Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sort of impossible? Even in the metaverse? Huh? What was that? The star Josie gave to us started glimmering. Could it have reacted to something? Sup? up I never imagined that I would end up helping the phantom thieves things would get interesting if my sister ever found out 
There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Can you teach me how to be a phantom thief? Like, about the metaverse, for example? Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cognition. There, you can change people's hearts. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there once. But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? Oh, we've not done a risk assessment or anything. We just go for it. Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and it... That's not what I mean. It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Oh. Well, we don't even know if it has a server. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? I... Now she's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Uh-huh, yeah, these are good points. Do you know anything about it? Yeah, we've decided to just kind of ignore it and then hope it doesn't go away. There's no need to worry. We're not telling her about the long-nosed man. Nobody needs to know about that. You sound pretty confident in that answer. I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. Well, Sis doesn't know who the Phantom Thieves are, so I suppose our information is safe for now. We're still learning things ourselves. I hope your sharp wit can help us with that. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... That is a good photo, to be fair. I could only imagine what would happen then. Come on, we just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. All right. Kanashiro's henchman said the deadline is July 9th. Okay, well... Um... Infiltrate Palace? Actually, you know what? I'll just it this. lets us save here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in a save. And then, we're gonna jump into the palace next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.